Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Today we are here outside of Black Friday deals where everything in the store is $7. All of the items are from Amazon Return, so you can find literally anything in the store. MacBooks, iPhones, AirPods, you name it. And today we're gonna spend $1,000 in the store. Let's get shopping. <laughs> So here's the game plan. Spending $1,000 here at everything's at $7 means we have to buy 140 Amazon returns. So we're gonna buy a lot. The doors are officially open and it's time to shop. I'm so nervous to go in there. Everyone literally like pushes in there and just, you could die. Everybody's feeling everything. Go get the bag, get the bag. All right, let's go, let's go. Come on, there's no time to wait. I don't know what this is, we got it. I don't know what this is. Two, three items, four items, whatever that is. Six. This bag's already getting full. Becca, hurry. Literally, everyone's getting the better stuff. I want this. Seven. Oh my god. Huh. What even is this? Ultra bag. All the old ladies in here are taking all the iPhones. Oh, a power dental flosser. I actually really want that. Ooh. Keyboard score. I lost count of everything we got already. I may or may not have grabbed a plant for very important purposes, but we just hit the jackpot. Look, we got all the accessories. Let's go. Really? Really? My mother. Mapita, sabe de mi son. We already got some really good finds, but I have no idea how much this stuff is. And we need to get a thousand dollars worth of stuff. So we're gonna check out, see how much this is, and we'll probably have to come back for more. Might go over budget. 386, we're definitely getting closer to our budget. We still have to come back in here though and buy more Amazon returns. Cause I just bought $40 worth of stuff. I don't even know if it works or not. Round two, let's go find some more steals and deals. All right, let's go. Now we only have to find like 60 more things. What is this? Should we take the risk and find out what's in this box? It's only seven dollars. Come on. I don't want to freaking jinx it, but I think I might have just found something that might be an iPhone. I don't want to jinx it though, because it might be fake. I don't even know. But we're gonna buy it anyway. Check this out. Back scrubber score. Give it Kanye, cowboy. Ew. What? Should I cop or drop? <laughs> I'm so nervous. Honestly, this is just getting too much. I don't understand why people think that this is okay to like do these kind of like fighting. Like, it's just not worth it anymore for me. Like, okay. Two thousand dollars just spent on Amazon returns. I definitely think we got our worth in these. Let's go home. The first thing we got from Amazon returns was a pair of headphones. These are actually like from Target, so I don't know why they were at Amazon returns, but they were seven dollars. And normally they are well, they were on clearance for five bucks. We actually lost two dollars on this purchase. But I mean, they were like a pretty color, so I got them. They don't even like plug into my phone. Okay, so maybe this wasn't a steal and deal. The next thing we had found is a neon sign. I have no idea what this neon sign says, but it's a neon sign, so you can't go wrong with it, right? Oh my gosh, to the moon. It's actually really nice though. I mean, it's kind of cheesy, but like, look how cool that is. That's actually really nice. For seven bucks, not bad. The next thing I had to get, it is a mini neon light. This was seven bucks, and it is too cute. I had to, I had to. It's kind of an impulsive decision. It's like not turning on. So now I understand why this is $7 because it does not work. What a waste of $7. Wait, hold up. Scam. Next thing I had to get an electric lunchbox because come on, an electric lunchbox. Why would you not want this? To be honest with you, I don't even know half the stuff I put in here. Oh my God. What is this? Who put this in here? <laughs> a spoon and a fork. Hate it if you want it, but I am gonna have some very hot meals here soon. The next thing I got was a mug warmer for $7. And these are super cool because if you drink hot coffee, your coffee gets really cold very quickly. But this will like heat it up. I think this is a good purchase. Okay, we need to talk. Who put bowls in the bag? Why are you opening them? <laughs> I wanna see them. These are pretty nice bowls. Next thing in here is an, who put this in here? Did you put this in there? $7 for an iPhone case. <laughs> Not even worth 20 cents. Really? <laughs> <George>. <laughs> 
I don't know who decided to put a charger in the basket, but we bought it for $7. Let me know if you need a charger. What is this? Who put this in there? What are these? Oh, it's a tie. <laughs> who put a tie in the box? That was you, <laughs> sir. <laughs> what idiot designed this thing? You did, sir. <laughs> who put a steam nail gel remover? Oh, that was me. I wanted this. What is this? It looks so used. All right, we're, we're done with that. So this one was kind of an impulse buy, but we actually really needed this. So this was the next thing on our Amazon purchase. The next thing was this random box, which I definitely shouldn't have put in the basket, but I was so curious what it was. And you can't open the product. It is a... Is it a light bulb? You put a light bulb. And you it's a light bulb. And the last thing in the box was a portable SSD. The next thing we bought is this random package. This is a <laughs> did you did you put this? I guess I have a cheese board now. Next thing we got what? you put this. <laughs> five bananas. <laughs> What the dog I do? didn't put this in there. What is this? Who wants a bag that says five bananas on it? Next thing we have is an actual useful item. It is a three-in-one fast wireless charger that we got for seven dollars. And if this works, that'll be a nice little seal and deal. These are not that cheap. Oh, look at this one. It's kind of fancy. Look, very nice. Hey, it works. Seven dollars later, we have a little wireless charging stand. You put this one in there. I know you did. I didn't put this one in there. It's cool. It's an all-around protection. So Becca thought it'd be a good idea to buy a all-around protection. Protects your camera too. What is this, Becca? You literally, it's you just an, see the it's an, it's an iPhone case. This is a waste of money and a waste of time. Oh, shit. This it's is a waste fine. of everything. Putting this back, I'm just taking this back to the store. The next thing I put in there, you put this in there too, didn't you? It's a mister. It's a fan. It's pink. Kind of one of the better purchases we made so far. Okay, cool. I like this. Comment down below. I'm your biggest fan. But for $7? Yeah. Some of this stuff is very debatable on whether it was worth $7 or not. Next thing we got is an automatic magnetic stirring cup. Wow. It's it for you. Okay, how hard is it to get a spoon and stir your coffee? Like you need a whole cup just to stir. Oh, oh. that's cool. It's futuristic. This is kind of cool. How do I turn it? Oh, oh. <laughs> you start going so fast. Coffee just starts like going. Fast. It's like. <laughs> this is very cool. I actually really like this. I condone this seven dollar purchase. Motion sensor closet light. Oh. Two LED motion sensor closet light. Very fun. Not back in the box. I want an iPhone. iPhone holder. Oh my gosh. I needed this for your car. I'm not going to try to put this together. I'm going to tell you that much. Who thought it was a good idea to buy $1,000 worth of Amazon returns? Next thing we got. <laughs> I mean, hey, I could use these. We got a bag of chargers. I could put a food thermometer in the bag. I need it, mine, bro. What is in this box? I'm very interested to see what's in this box. Oh, oh wait, this is kind of fun. This is a computer mouse, an ergonomic mouse. Why is this mouse like this? I mean, it's kind of comfortable. I actually really like this. I really like it. It's very comfortable on the hand. Okay, the next thing we have is an aura light. Because who doesn't want an aura light? We paid seven bucks for this. Oh, <gasps> wait, this looks so so amazing. Man, I love that. I'm done with this now. Next thing is, who put another fan in there? Another fan? It's pink, so it passes the vibe check. I mean, who couldn't use a little fan, you know? Ooh, it worked. Wow. All right, let's see. A humidifier, mini air cooler. All right, I'm not mad about it. For seven dollars, what is this? You know, I'm not even gonna try it out. For what reason? Just you know, we now have a mini air cooler humidifier. Next thing we got are some um, light bulbs. Very fun. Next we got, ooh, this is kind of cool. It is a little video conference ring light. I like ring lights. Ooh, I kind of like it. Look how nice. This ring light gets a big thumbs up for me. Another wireless charger. I don't know why we got this. A random box. I love the random boxes. I am very intrigued. Here goes nothing. Moment of truth. iPhone 4. What are these? Can someone please explain to me what this is supposed to be? What is this? I know I put this in the cart, but I'm still kind of confused onto what this is. I paid $7 for this right now. It doesn't work. I paid $7 for this. What a waste. I know we got a lot of crap so far, but there's this one item that I really thought would be really super good, and it is this watch. I look super, super nice, and I'm like, oh, snap. Like, did we just find an Apple Watch right now? 
It's not an Apple Watch. I was like so excited for this too. I genuinely was like, dude, we just found an Apple Watch. It is an LED watch. It's not, it, it, why would they try to make it look like an Apple Watch? They literally tricked me so hard. Like tell me that doesn't look like an Apple Watch. I think we just got scammed pretty hard right now. Next things we got were some, I did indeed put these in the bag. I wasn't in my right mind. There's a lot of pushing, there's a lot of shoving, and I just, my first reaction was to grab the Christmas lights. Let me know if you or your family need Christmas lights this year. Okay, this one, you're gonna judge me for this one. Okay, you're gonna judge me for it. It's an electric Bruh. torch. It's brand new, guys, so don't judge me. For $7, where else are you gonna get an electric toothbrush for $7? Ow! Here's my teeth, they're tickles. Ah, I just got a $7 electric toothbrush. The next thing I saw, which was really cool, is this crunchy Apple Watch. So this is my new Apple Watch. Next thing in there, I thought this was really, really cool, and it could be expensive. It was some Bluetooth audio glasses. They were a little bit beat up. These were only $7, and some of these can get really expensive, so I really wanted to see if they work. Summer 2023 is about to be a dream. It sounds really bad. They work, it just sounds like... <sighs> That's so loud. I like them. I'm gonna keep them. Oh, they're so bad. <laughs> <Yeah. Let's> go. <laughs> like, they were seven dollars. Okay. Y'all are ready for this one. It's an inflatable light up chair. I really want to try this. Seven dollars. Can't go wrong with that. And it lights up. Okay, so this is super exciting. This has to be expensive, right? How am I gonna inflate this? I really want to try it. No, I'm gonna inflate it after. So this next thing is a wireless charger that lights up. And I thought this was kind of cool. I mean, is it worth $7? Maybe not. If it's cool, it's cool. It does charge and it does light up, but it's also like very dull. Like next thing we bought was a Terry speaker. This one actually is so cute. I have no idea how much this is worth, but I would think a good amount because it's a speaker. It has to be worth more than $7. So cute. Look at it. It's a little baby speaker. I'm gonna be just fine. This is cool. I give it a thumbs up. The next things I got were really, really cool. This is actually a two foot, eight pin beaded cable. I don't know if this is even worth the money I spent on it, but this is what it looks like. I thought this was kind of cute. It's a charger and it has little beads on it. How cute is that? And then I also found these glow wireless earbuds. These are definitely only worth like four bucks, but they were cool. So I got them. Okay, these are the glow. Oh, these are not look like the picture. They made them look like they were glowy. They're just yellow. They're just your normal average $2 headphones. We got another speaker. Okay, this speaker has to be worth something. I feel like most of the stuff we've unboxed today has been kind of questionable. Okay, this speaker is actually only worth $5. Well, that's all I have to say about that one. The next one, this was not a waste. This was a complete reasonable purchase. Giant dance piano mat. <laughs> all right, I'm done with this one. What kid actually enjoys this for more than five seconds? The next thing I got was a mini portable printer. This seemed kind of expensive, so I thought it was worth the investment. We were about to print our first photo on this mini printer that we bought for $7. Let's see how well this works. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh my God, wait, it's actually kind of coming out. I was like, took cheese. Wait, this is totally the picture I'm showing my grandkids. Oh, that was your grandma. Wait, okay, all jokes aside, this is so actually, <laughs> all jokes aside, this is not bad for $7. I guess what the The next was all a bunch of kind of mall items. We got a Dixie and Charlie light bulb. Don't ask me why I needed this one, but I needed this one. I also found these cool like wireless earbuds. Oh, these are actually kind of cool. These are like very interesting. Like I'm pretty sure these are only worth like, again, like, $5. But hey, I mean, these are an interesting headphone. You get what you pay for, I guess. Yeah. I bought the mouse. Pretty cute mouse, I mean. I'm very curious. Come on, Charlie D'Amelio. Right. Moment of truth. <gasps> Wait, that is so cool. I love it. It's the best thing I think I've ever bought. And I give it a 10 out of 10. Thank you, Charlie D'Amelio, for this one. More and more accessories because there were so many different accessories there today. We first have a slim rechargeable power bank. This is nothing crazy, but I really thought this was a cute little power bank. Look how nice that is. For seven bucks, not too shabby. We also have a wallet grip. Look how nice. It's a little pop socket and it's also a wallet. Oh, I put it on backwards. Well, this is not bad at all. I actually really like this one. Worth $7, definitely debatable. And then I also found this really cool product, which is really weird, but I thought it was too good to not try out. So this is a little bit silly goofy. Bumpin' LEDs. Lights every bump. Pretty much, it lights up the more you drop it. And I dropped my phone a lot. Oh my god! Wait, I like that. It's like, oops. <laughs> This is a very interesting product. Why I put this in the cart? Don't ask me these kind of questions. The next item that we got from Black Friday Deals seems way too good to be true, but that's why we're opening it on the video. 
It's an iPhone 14. When I saw this box, I literally freaked out. Like I grabbed it so, so quick because I knew that somebody else would grab it. However, it is taped and you can't open any of the boxes in the store for some reason. So I bought it anyways. It feels kind of heavy, like feel it. Like there's definitely something in here. What's in there? I have no idea. I bought it $7 worth the risk. Please be an iPhone 14. This will make all the thousand dollars we spent worth it. Oh my God. Wait, it's not even real, is it? Look, there's literally not even an Apple logo. What a scam! Ooh. Dang it, man. I was literally like, for two seconds, I was like, <gasps> but then I stopped because literally look at this. This is not an iPhone. I guess not. The next thing. Don't, 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 do oh. it. Don't. <laughs> When you grabbed that, you made me grab that. You were so strict on it. <laughs> I have a lot of questions about my life choices at this point. I don't know what. The next thing I got looked really, really expensive, so I was actually excited. It is a GLS 30 Robo Vacuum Cleaner. This was $7, and I don't know, these are normally like super expensive. Robo Cleaner. I don't know, it feels kind of cheap. Let's see how much money this is actually worth. So this vacuum cleaner is worth $35 on Amazon. Shoot. Ah. Wait, it's this is trying to commit. <laughs> it's like I'm done. It's kind of cool though, low key. <laughs> Don't know if this was the best purchase, but um, oh. I know you put this one in there. <laughs> I know you put this one in there. My patas are not going to the internet. I got a magnetic wireless charger and another charger. Oh my god, how many chargers do we need? I had an iPhone on it, so I bought it. Wireless chargers and an iPhone case. Please be for my phone at least. If this doesn't fit my phone, it's just going to be the complete waste of $7. All right, no way. Look at that. There's not going to fit. Okay, this is also something I bought for myself, but I just really wanted a powered dental flosser. So they're really good. It's like you don't have to floss. You just have to like put squirt water. It says they're worth like 25 bucks. It wasn't that expensive. Ain't no way we bought another charger, another magnetic wireless charger. We got, why did I put this in the car? I thought this was cute or like a charger or something. It's for babies. Let me know if your baby wants that. And then I put this in the bag because I don't know what it is, but it looks very interesting. They're USB night lights. Pretty cute. The next thing I put in the cart was this shower phone holder. I personally have one of these and they're very good. So if you guys want one, let me know. So you can watch YouTube in the shower. You just stick this to your shower wall and then you can watch YouTube like this. Then we have a mobile phone video amplifier. $7 is only probably worth like 10. I'm not mad about it. I like it. Okay, what else did I buy? I literally spent so much money. This is actually a cool purchase. Did you put this in there? Oh. No, you put it in there. I didn't do that. So it's a dog sweater. This MacBook cover is actually so cute. If it fits my MacBook, I would love this. Oh, it's glittery. Maybe that's not cute. Come on. Look, it's for your MacBook. These are normally like 25 bucks, but I think this is still cute. AirPod case. Sheesh. Black AirPod case. Michael B. Jordan. Sheesh. Also, some Apple Watch bands. I think I'm going to switch out this scrunchie right now. I have no regrets about spending $7 on these Apple Watch bands. <laughs> Why did I buy a Wii remote? I don't even have a Wii. <laughs> Next thing I got was. I don't know. Next thing I bought was an iPhone stand. Okay, so this is our iPhone stand, so I can film all my TikToks on it. Could always use a new iPhone stand. Next thing I got was a plant. I really like this plant. I had it. I bought a wireless keyboard. I really am interested to see what it looks like because half the time when you buy stuff at the Amazon returns, you really don't know what you're buying. It's just your normal plain black wireless keyboard. It's like the most boring keyboard I've ever seen. I bought a box. No idea what's in the box. Let's see what's in the box. There's never a time when I open something and I actually understand what it is. Okay, next we have, oh, this is cute. I actually really like this one. Oh, it's a flower lamp. How pretty is that? I don't know why anyone would have turned such a thing. How does some of this stuff end up in our bag? <laughs> Ow, if I spent $7 on these, I'm gonna wear them. Ow. <laughs> stuff in here. Who put the Roblox? <laughs> Who put the Roblox napkin? I know this is you. <laughs> Roblox themed birthday party. Here we come. Okay. I got another iPhone case. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, we got some more stuff in here. What is this, what is this? There, we got another power strip. I wanna know what's in the box. So I paid $7 for, so you put like a lemon in there or something, and then you like squish it, and then you have like the juice like that. This is very nice. A plus. Another one, Sarah. Why is there two? I did not put two in there. I swear I didn't put two in there. Look right here in the junkyard. <laughs> This is what a thousand dollars worth of random Amazon returns looks like. Please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you want because I can't keep all this stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Now a few words from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful platform that allows you to create your own beautiful website. With Squarespace, you can generate revenue and connect with your audience in a gated members only content. Squarespace allows you to manage your members, send email communications, and leverage your audience insights. All in one easy to use platform. You can create a community with your Squarespace website that allows for commenting, likes, and replies. You can also use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. And with Squarespace extensions, you can take it to a whole new level. This third party tool will help you manage your inventory, promote your products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship your items across the globe. You can also display some of your social media posts on your website. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sarah Grace to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video.